Welcome to Stracon 2018. In the world of 3D planning, more and more often you have to deal with comparison and coordination of project changes with the help of 3D models, synchronizing architectural planning changes via IFC or finding collisions in your own model. Let's look at model comparison first. For this, I load the newest architectural model from an IFC file and confirm the material assignments. All red markings show that something is missing from my model. Green shows where is too much. Using the measure function, I can find out the differences in dimensions. For example, the door pillars are 25 cm too wide. The colored markings stay visible while I continue working. Now I can use the extrusion function to make the door pillars more slender. I can use points from the IFC file for reference so that I don't need to guess any measurements. I use the plan view for better orientation to reposition a wall using the move points function. In order to better check my progress, I stopped the model comparison function and started anew. Now I can see that I only have to adjust the roof slope. For this I start my newest favorite function, slope areas, where I can modify two adjacent areas at one time. I determine a rotation axis for each surface and the reference point for moving them. In this case it's the ridge point. Concluding, I run the model comparison a last time, to make sure I have adjusted for all changes. No further differences can be found. So now we want to check for conflicts within our own model, especially useful in precast constructions. At first, all conflicts are marked red and I can step through each individually. The tooltip shows me the overlapping volume and the conflicting objects. Of course, I can zoom in and out to get a better look at the conflicts. I check once again which objects are in conflict and get to work. We already know the functions needed, like extrude areas. As many of our users know, flex parts can be modified directly in the model view. I use extrude areas to change the height to fit below the flange of the beam. Activating the function mark area in all instances of the component causes the same modification in all like named flex parts in this model. If my flex part is in more than one model of the project, a dialog is opened after completing the modification. I can assign a new name to only change in this model or save the old name and apply my changes to all instances of this flex part in all models of the project. Once again, just to make sure. The last conflict lies in the model reference of the annex and should be taken care of in its own model. I can also use the conflict checker to find collisions in reinforcement and embedded or built-in parts. For this I switch to view without objects. Then I start the search for conflicts. 
Not only are collisions between reinforcement bars shown, but also between reinforcement and built-in parts. In this case, I decide to move the built-in part 10 cm to avoid the conflict with the rebar. Further up in the corbel, I decide to change the rebar. Via the modification of the laying, I reduce the amount from 4 to 3. And finally, check again. Everything looks good.